Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a project which topic is Library Management System. As per the name suggests, I know it's pretty clear to you that uh, this is a system, this is an application which is developed to basically manage a library functionality, right? So let's do first which we, are, we have done from the last projects, Requirement Analysis. First, what we require a text editor where we are going to write our code. So, VS Code is the most dynamic text editor used. So, this is I have used. You can use any other text editor where the code can run. Then, an operating system is a must. It's a no-brainer. Windows 10 operating system is what I have used. You can use Unix, Linux according to you. This project is based on HTML, CSS and Python. We have used the Django framework here. And the requirement analysis includes HTML files, CSS files, as well as the Python files. So I know you're very keen to like have a first look at the website. Okay, no issues. Let's move to the website first and let's see that how does it look like. So this is what your website looks like. It is a library management system and this is your front page, the home page as such. You can add a student here. Let me add a student, Let's say B120055, student name is Akhil, student address is say uh, Ramji Nagar, student study program is Bitech, full name of the guardian is Anurag Pathak, okay. and a email is the Anurag at the rate gmail.com. Okay, let me add a student. So you can see a student is added here. Okay, cool. If I want to, if I want to add a book, let me add a new book. Say the book uh, title is um, Engineering Mathematics. Engineering Mathematics. Book author is say Mr. Mr. X. Book pages is 400. Book summary, it's a book which provides valuable info for semester studies. Okay? That works. Okay. Add book. So, see my book is added here. I do not have any ID. Okay, no problem. If I want to view the, see this is from the add issue book. So I can issue a book also like Simran Patnaik is issuing a book called Engineering Mathematics and the book is in good condition. If I issue it, it shows Simran Patnaik has issued on April 4, 7 to p.m. a book which is what? A maths book. And the actions here are like I can return, refund, and edit also. And I have not returned the book right now. Okay. And the number of students enrolled are these two, Akhil and Simran. And the books, these three books are available. And these two books are issued. And the books are in good condition. So this is what our library management system basically looks like. Now, I know you're very keen to go and look, have a verification, have a look at the code. No issues. Let's have a look at the code first. Let me close the terminal. Okay. First, let us have a look at the readme. So, how do you run a project? If you want to create a virtual environment, you have to run this code. Then, you have to go to the virtual environment. And this is actually, you have to activate the bin as well. If you do not want a virtual environment, if you want to make it normal, then you need to go to the directory in which your project is there write cd lms because we are working under the lms lms is this and you have to make python manage.py make migrations then manage.py migrate and finally run server this is simple we have been discussing it in the django playlist which we made how to run the python projects so not of a great deal so let's move to the main.python first in the main.python we have a function definition first where we have a a toggle function print toggle function to toggle to the 
break point then we have a like the for the running of the project we have a button the pie charm so this is a main function and we have a print icon pie charm so this is the html now let's have a look at the html doc type html as such then your html tag opens language selected head tag open then we have the content this is a basic basic snippet of the html file which we use title given is document you can change it accordingly and then your body starts in body you have a title called library so let's what do you mean by title this part the library management system okay this is what your title is then see this one then you have the book title the author the year of publication the add book option basically these are the titles when you click on this add student so it shows add new student this one is add new book so this is basically your titles okay so this we have given in a like a label thing then you have the book items so in the book items you have a book title first where you are going to get the element id by book title of value then you get the author name then you get the year of publication you are going to get it then you get the age of the book this is basically the thing which is inputted by the user then you get the book list book item so this these are the various inputs which we take from the user then you have the remove book option where you can remove the book also like you can remove the instance of a book then here we have given the css as well because as such no css was required so under the style you gave the label color black font style is inherit the button is also there the, the font size is 150 percent you can change it no issues font size is medium color is given dark green then in the input you have a border color color and font size and you have the style tag closed now see do not touch the ben because it's a virtual environment this is created you need not know this the git ignore and stuff is here now let's have a look at the lms in the lms we have a manage.py let's see what does the manage.py have in store for us so this is a django so we imported over as an imported system under the uh, main function definition we have set the django settings module and here we have used a try catch block so in the try we have from django core management we have imported the execute from command line then if your django could not be imported as such it says could not import django are you sure if it is installed and if it is not installed it shows you how to install it as well now in the lms we have these all python files also so these are nothing we have seen it in the django folder when we were working on django then the django playlist also so from django.code.asj we have imported the application then we have set the django settings module and finally we called the application in the settings.python what we did we have set the installed apps the middle this is basically when you make the migration this all gets set this is nothing you need to write it gets set in the urls we have imported path and include and the url patterns is library.urls and we have seen this yes we have seen this and in the library let's see we have admin so here we have registered our models from django.country we have imported admin in the apps we have uh, imported the app configuration from django.apps and we have set the name as library in the forms what we have in the forms we have basically from django we have imported forms first and from models we have imported students book book issue and book instance okay so we have used the class called matter and under certain models we have given certain instances like one model is students one model is book one model is book instance and another model is book issue and we have all this numbers like for the book instance we have book and book number for the book issue we have issue date due date remarks on return and date return which we showed it here see when we are issuing a book we have certain things like the book details the remarks the student details we have all this stuff in the models uh, we have given the models of the character fields like see the roll number first when we come to these class students we have the roll number full name address program guardian name and email which i showed you when we were seeing the project like when you were issuing a book when we are adding a student you had all this field roll number student name student address study program full name valid email 
of the parent. So this is what. In the book, you had the book or title, book author, and book pages. So you had this also. Like when you were adding a book, you had this book title, book author, book pages, and summary. These are the text areas where you are inputting, inputting the text basically. Then you had a book instance where you had like uh, like unique book ID and the number of books. And then you have book issue. In the book issue, you had student book instance issue date, due date, date returned, remarks on issue, and remarks on return. So these all stuffs you had. The test dot Python we have imported the test case from the Django dot test URLs dot Python basically you have imported the path from Django dot URLs and you have imported views and these are the URL patterns that you have given like all the paths are mentioned here path along with the names of the path in the views dot Python what you have here basically we have imported the render and the HTTP response from Django dot shortcuts. Imported student forms, book form, book issue form, and book instance form from forms, and the models are imported. Then renders a request index.html, the basic page, the first page basically. Then in the add student, add new student function, we have a method, post method basically, which basically takes an input from the student. In the add new book, you are basically going to add a new instance of a book. That's also a post method. If it is like the there is no input from the user, then our render request is gone, which says like uh, add a new book.html. So it basically finds out a text idea. Then add a new book instance is there. Then add a book issue. So this is basically you are adding a new book here. So if it is not being added, so it will throw you an error. That no, so these books are not present, or we are not gonna add these books. Then view students, view books. So these are we are going to order them by the IDs, the increasing and decreasing order. See, this is minus ID. What is minus ID? Is decreasing. That means what? Like a person who has enrolled last will be visible first. This is by increasing order as usual. Then we have the edit student information here. You can edit the student's ID, like the roll number, name, the number of books he's issued stuff and stuff like that this is edit issues the return issued book delete the book delete student and edit book data these all steps can also be maintained mm -hmm. so this is the final project which we have made and i hope this project is clear to you you understood the working of this project for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to this channel thank you and have a great day mm -hmm.